Is there one particular rock show in your past, either of you, that was kind of pivotal in your adolescence that you can point to that's like, you know what, that kind of turned me a little bit, spun me in a different direction? Pink Floyd. Every tour I've ever seen of theirs. <laughs> they continue to inspire me. And Paul McCartney. We just saw McCartney at Coachella. He's like 66. He did like and he a two rocked and a half it till like one in the morning. Hour, like set, like yeah. till one in the morning. It was like screaming. He's insane. At like one in the morning. And you're just like, whoa. And he got in trouble from the city of uh, Palm Springs for being up too late. Yeah. yeah. Indio, actually. Oh, yeah. Indio. I'm sorry. How's your record doing? It's doing awesome. As a matter of fact, we're in the middle of launching a new initiative, which is crazy. But I can't tell you too much yet. All I can tell you is we're planning something which will become hopefully the industry standard for touring which is to uh, take all live shows off the grid using alternative energy to fuel and power huge great you know laser and light and sound shows right, right, right. You know? a lot of bands some bands do that already yeah. uh, the, the the their footprint the eco footprint thing yeah. I know Pearl Jam does that is really conscious about uh, what kind of gas they yeah. use on the tour bus yeah right well I'm not talking tour bus I'm talking fueling the entire show awesome. so right, actually taking... powering the show yeah. not with the electric company's How do you do that? power with, with uh, corn oil or what? bringing in our own machines to reroute so we can go off the grid and power it with our alternative energy source oh, that's a huge endeavor man yeah. yes it is yeah. um, so our first presentation will be June 27th at yeah. Universal City Walk we're, we're going there? yes with my band truth movement uh, we are working to try and get Universal City, and I think it's going to happen, to go off the grid for the first time in history wow. to do this. And um, they're being very cooperative at the moment, so it looks like it's positive and it's going to happen. And they're owned by GE, actually, so it, it's a nice coincidence that we can get it all to work together. But anyway, June 27th is a free concert for everybody, so come out, check it out. Saturday night, perfect. Um, and then we'll be launching a whole other plethora of events after that, but that's the first one. Okay. Anything else? Unless there, is there one thing that you want to share with us that, that we haven't already talked about? All I want to say is that you're doing much better at this. I am, right? Yeah, Since yeah. the first time. Yeah, you're, you're really getting the knack of it. I appreciate it. We're, we're trying to do a, a good thing here, something good for music and good for socially conscious uh, people. And so we I think we're doing what? You're doing something positive. And yeah. it's, you know, you're focusing in positive directions. And, you know, yeah, you could be doing you know. like the typical sleaze that the rest of them do out here, you know, and you're not, not doing that. Right. So. Yeah. Well, cool. listen, you guys are always cool talking to Rockerazzi. So we will do whatever we have to do to support the cause the and your show. band. Yeah, of course. thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. Check out the mice space because you can learn more at the myspace www.myspace.com forward slash technology analogy go to coreyfeldman.net there's a lot of good vocab plethora we had all sorts of we had philanthropic in this interview yes, it's good yes. yeah i, you know, they can I, I like the, the big words, words. Right. i like the big right. words thank Keep you guys some guessing. All right, thank, thank you, you. Thank you.